Yet another controversy surrounding Safe Moon. What could this be leading to, guys? What is up, guys? Welcome back to your daily source of news on all things crypto, and make sure you stay till the end for my Safe Moon V2 price prediction. In today's news, we have Safe Moon holding at 0.001004. So, uh, as we know, if you've been following the news, uh, Safe Moon dropped uh, below this value yesterday, so it added one more zero. So it's pretty good to be back again on two zeros, guys. So as we can see, for the past 24 hours, Safe Moon has been entirely green, bringing back the value above uh, two decimals, actually above three decimals. So pretty, pretty good there. So for the past seven days, Safe Moon has been having a rocky week. We've seen some huge drops. Now it's looking like it's gonna hold around this value. So what's been going on uh, with yet another controversy surrounding Safe Moon, or more like uh, an extension to Safe Moon's biggest controversy? So. YouTube detective exposes Jake Paul's alleged secret wallet for crypto scams. Uh, if you don't know, Jake Paul and uh, and SafeMoon have a very controversial history because Jake Paul pumped uh, the value of SafeMoon uh, along with his friends and then subsequent, subsequently dumped it, uh, sold everything three months later and the uh, uh, the fans were left stranded, many people lost a lot of money and it, it didn't end well. So uh, this is an extension to that. Uh, is what j Paul is doing illegal? That's for the court to decide. It's morally reprehensible though. And CoffeeZilla, YouTube's greatest pop detective, is on the case. <clears throat> in his latest video, he uncovers an alleged Jake Paul wallet that the influencer has allegedly used to cash out on all his paid promotions for crypto projects. So what did he find out? We've uh, said this before and we'll say it again, blockchains record everything and are not a good medium for criminals. We're not sure if what Jake Paul did is a crime at the present moment though, what did he do? He got paid to promote several crypto projects, got his followers to buy in, pumping the price and then dumped on them. Uh, the worst uh, thing is, in CoffeeZilla's, news, CoffeeZilla's words, none of these promotions Jake Paul did were listed as ads. Both the Federal Trade Commission and the SEC might have a problem with that, but let's wait and see how they handle the situation. So, uh, what other projects did Jake Paul uh, advertise? It was besides SafeMoon, it was Yami, MILF, and for NFT projects, it, it was League of Scared Devils and StickDicks. It's worth noting that the StickDicks Twitter account got hacked and is now messaging uh, tweets like this, dissing. Uh, Jake Paul. So also CoffeeZilla has another vid video on the stick this ca stick this case specifically. So how does CoffeeZilla know that Jake Paul owns that wa wallet? The Internet Detectives method is simple. The, the idea here being that you can find a crypto wallet if the behavior lines up enough with publicly available information. So what CoffeeZilla did was look up the date of Jake Paul's tweets promoting the name crypto projects, go to the project's blockchain and look for suspicious transactions. Every time he found a huge one coming from the project's creator's wallets, those uh, went to uh, wallets not connected to Jake Paul. Each time the owner cashed in and transferred the funds to the same wallet, one registered to problem trial on uh, OpenSea. So the safe moon lawsuit, at the moment there's a lawsuit against Jake Paul and other celebrities and influencers for promoting safe moon. CoffeeZilla's video starts with, many people are probably wondering uh, if I'm making this video to make sure Jake Paul loses this lawsuit and I want to be cl clear, absolutely not, this was never the intention, it's just a happy accident. So everybody in involved in SafeMoon slowly left the project. The wallet they promised never arrived and the coins value plummeted and never recovered. Jake Paul and the other celebrities promoted the coin, generated a pump and participated in the dump. 
is what they did illegal though that's for the court to decide so it it was re it, it, safe mode as a coin has a really really troubled history it's surrounded by controversy and pretty much everyone that was involved with safe moon has left the team with the only person uh, staying is the ceo uh, currently john caroni and people suspected he might be leaving too so guys the i don't know why people are still investing in this if you look at the red page there's still people investing huge sums of money into this uh, which uh, at this point is a clear scam i cannot recommend this coin to anyone guys stay away from safe moon as far as you can that is it for today's news guys come back tomorrow